new Fortnite Halloween update just dropped and it's actually insane! This is easily the best update of this season, story-wise, Halloween and even gameplay-wise. So because of that, three videos are planned for this update. With this one being regarding how next season being season 5, we will go to the chapter 1 map. Yeah, I'm not kidding, this is gonna be the biggest season ever. We will also talk about the time machine finally revealed in the game. As you know, a time machine was revealed to exist in Fortnite, owned by Kato Forms this season. And you can actually see it in game finally while Kato Forms is protecting it. Even right now, preparing the machine to travel with it into season 5 chapter 1. Time machine which- OH MY GOD THAT IS! IT'S SO BEAUTIFUL! I WON ONE! Is it possible to marry a time machine? If so, COUNT ME IN! To understand how we'll go back to chapter 1 and how it will look like, we need to first learn about this machine. The time device has three core parts. One of them is this part which it is used to charge up the actual time machine. Being this ball in the middle of it and even attract the ball back into itself once Kato is done with whatever he wants to do in other timelines. Second being the ball in the middle is the core importance of it and what holds all the mechanics to time travel. The design is basically just a giant clock. while on the back of it you can see the battery which is used for the device to function. This battery holds phantom and quantum energy, taken and charged through energy released by the rifts, showing us finally why Kato has rifts within his hotels. He needs them for his time machine being the reason why he has found a way to control them. But then to use this machine it needs to have controls. Well the controls connected to it are actually on the third part being the chair you sit on while using it. This chair has all the controls on it used for you to time travel or return to the present with the ball. Then on the top it also shows you what time you will travel into. The amount of thought and love and detail gone into this device is actually insane. Epic actually went beyond with this device. Thank you so much. But now we know how it works. So now for the main question, why is season 5 gonna return chapter 1's map to us? Becoming the biggest season to ever exist. An entire chapter level season. Well, the haste team this update finally finally got built with May joining in. They are now preparing to steal the time machine in this Halloween update in the next two weeks. Seems like the haste will actually be a success and the time machine and the main ball part of it will be brought into the farm location, where the haste team are located at and where John Jones is actually at too. It seems like John Jones did not land on Chapter 4's island until last update, being why we did not see him. But last update, once he landed on the island, he actually met Dr. Stone. Then seems like Dr. Stone chose to put the hate aside and actually ask John Jones to help them. John Jones is still scared of Dr. Stone, but as the Autumn Queen said, our future is in the hands of his. So now both Jones and Stone are working together to save us all. But the thing is now, once the machine is stolen, it starts acting crazy, bringing in objects from the timeline it was last focused on. That being season 5, chapter 1. Then it has been said that the device will go crazy fully. Some but exploding and creating the biggest rift ever, taking the entire island and throwing it all the way back into chapter 1 season 5, where it was set to lastly. So that will exactly be the intro of season 5, the next season. Our entire island thrown on the chapter 1 map, and for an entire season we will get a mix of chapter 4 and chapter 1 islands. I fear that 60% of this map will be chapter 1 and 40% will be chapter 4. An entire new map just for one single season before chapter 5 drops. If that sounds like the coolest season ever, it doesn't even end there. Every week the entire season will change and feel like a new season. So week 1 we will be at season 5 mixed with chapter 4 island, where all the loot pool will be season 5 mixed with chapter 4 and all the location and all of that. Then in the next week we time travel again into season 6 chapter 1 or so. The loot pool changes, the map completely changes to season 6 and so on. Then we go to season 7, then season 8, then season 9 till finally the black hole. This is going to be the biggest season ever, only lasting for one month too. And also the biggest storyline season ever. Not to mention a month after it starts we will get a whole new map and open worlds being chapter 5, so 
like. The next two seasons are gonna be cooler than anything you've seen in this game or just like in gaming. Just be hype. Be really hype. Don't worry. Be hype. But there is one important question. Is this part of Dr. Stone's plan or not? If this is a Stone's plan taking us to chapter 1, then they're gonna do everything possible to stop the cube in season 5 and so on to stop the last reality from messing up the whole island on all of that. Alter the past to stop the last reality finally. If the time machine going crazy is not done by Dr. Stone, that means that the shapeless man builds the entire chapter 4 map to take the whole thing back into chapter 1 in the past. And he's looking forward to doing something with this in the past. So this question needs to be answered for me to know the exact future of Fortnite's storyline. But get ready! Season 1, 2, 3, 4, all of that was just a build up in chapter 4. From now, the action, the actual cool part of the storyline begins. But wait, there is also one super important thing regarding next season and chapter 5. Since we're going all the way back into the past, there is a huge chance that the Triarch realm, the realm of Nox and Aurora and all of that, that is not destroyed yet in the past. So I extremely believe that this realm of the Triarch will actually play a massive part in chapter 5. Or maybe even our new map or Fortnite open world be in that realm. If you want to understand what I said about the realm of Triarch and all the important things about chapter 5, make sure to watch this video on your screen. Trust me, you need to see this. 